Rampant News Podcast. We're back with another full episode. Our first story, the first black female judge of Douglas County has been fired after repeatedly robbing the county of resources. She blames her ghetto upbringing and her big, thick, fat ass for the unfortunate misunderstanding. Well, you know, that th these things happen. Moving on, our next story. Michael J. Fox says, you used to have to bust your ass to become a star. Now he says all you have to do is copy the latest dance number. I'm starting to think Mr. Fox is a little jealous. The only dance he can do is the Harlem Shake uncontrollably. You get it? Because um, that terrible thing he has. Moving on. I think the most pathetic thing about fat people is that they don't win hot dog eating contest. That's like losing on your home court, like a, like a basketball team losing on their home court. Because society clearly said, hey, fat people, we'll throw you a bone here. You can dominate us normal people in a contest, and you can be winners too. But no, it's autistic skinny guys and Asians. What kind of Asians? Well, you'd think sumo wrestler style. But no, it's they're much closer to ninja style than sumo style. I mean, how how is that not something that they just you know crush? But all the all the winners are just like normal, weird guys. So anyway, I think that's a big L for fat people. I'm calling fat people out. Our next story: A U.S. Navy officer based in Japan is being charged with espionage after he told a local employee top secret information. What was the top secret information? Well, he told the naked lady that they put sushi on for business meetings that his boss had a crush on her. I'd always be nervous to take the sushi off of like her nipple. But I bet that's a, a big, nice, juicy piece. Like a big piece so it covers up the whole nipple. Makes it all the more enticing. The forbidden fruit. I think I'd, I'd make a little boop noise as I took it off of her nipple to make her... Make her giggle a little bit. I'd pull it off and i go, boop. I don't think, is she allowed to make noises or giggle or have any emotion? Probably not. I'd like to, that's one of my bucket list goals, is to find myself in one of those meetings with the naked Japanese lady. Our next story, a California mayor has been removed from office after it was revealed that they were not a gay man, but instead a transgender woman. Apparently, the people were happy when he was getting railed out by a man in his butthole, but not happy with it if he thinks that same butthole is a pussy. Not cool. Buttholes are buttholes, pussies are pussies. That's how, what they think in California, at least. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, apparently, he, he ran as a gay man and then just started showing up to like press conferences dressed up as a woman. And they were like, whoa, <laughs> hold the phone. Anyway, you, uh, here's, a, here's a question for the audience. Do you think if a guy shows his penis in a public space, but it's like huge, it should be called decent exposure instead of indecent exposure? Like if it's a certain amount of inches, it should be a lesser crime. Because everybody goes, decent, you know, decent. Anyway, moving on. Some experts claim mental illness could be a genetic mutation passed down from our ancestors. I would say the biggest mental illness passed down from our ancestors is the urge to itch your ass, then give the fingers a sniff. I don't really like get deep into my ass ever but sometimes like the top of the crack will just itch a little bit and i'll give it a scratch and then you know i don't smell it but i do kind of have the urge to be like i wonder what that's i wonder if i'm fucking you know what i think i'm doing i'm just making sure that i haven't like you know i don't need a wipe or anything i've seen people do that in public and it is, it is absolutely, it's the most reprehensible thing known to man. Anyway. Aziz Ansari bounced back from his Me Too scandal with a new project this month. Aziz has to be the funniest Me Too. 
like just like he's at a bar with his friends and his friends are like Aziz, there is no way you can talk to a little shorty over there. And he's like, watch and learn, boys. And then you hear, you're just at the bar, and you hear, like, over the commotion of the bar, you hear, damn, girl. And the woman is like, Aziz, that just made my pussy so wet. It's dripping on the floor. And then he, he pulls out a little caution floor, his wet sign from his jacket, and he says, like a, a little tiny one, a miniature one. And he goes, damn, girl. Look at this little sign I got for your pussy. He sets it on the ground and then he takes her home and begs for pussy for five hours. I think that's pretty much, I don't know if that's how he hit on women. I just assume that's how he hit on women. But I do think that was his pretty, wasn't that his thing? I guess I don't, I didn't look really look into it, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of his thing was that he was just like, pretty, 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 please, pretty, 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 please. And you're not allowed to do that. Anyway, moving on. An Iranian rapper has been sentenced to death after he showed support for an anti-government group on social media. I'm starting to think Iran isn't the fun-loving, lucky-go country we all thought it was. I mean, geez louise. Uh, three straight Guy Ritchie movies have been bo- have bombed at the box office. Guy Ritchie, more like a boy pussy. Am I right? Fuck that motherfucker. I don't actually even know who that is. I just saw I saw the headline. I wrote the joke. Okay. Uh, registration has begun for the 26th annual Indigenous Tourism Conference. It's a conference where Indigenous people can demonstrate their rich culture and promote a positive message about their people. It should be noted that across the street, there's a white dude that has a Native American-themed bar where you can go blackout drunk, throw axes, watch the Chiefs play the Redskins, and take a picture next to a cardboard cutout of Liz Warren. So, similar thing, and probably a similar sentiment. Just, you know, it's like the Taco Bell version of the Indigenous Tourism Conference. You know, it's it's just a, an Americanized version, which, of course, is always much more fun. And you're going to probably be sick afterwards. More fun, more sick. There's a payoff to everything, folks. Anyway, Billy D. Williams commented on actors wearing blackface, saying that if you're an actor, you can do anything you want. I wish to speak to Mr. Williams to see if he'll give me the okay to do blackface on my cock if I'm acting like a mixed mixed race guy and all the black went to my wiener. Then I can go around saying the N-word and showing people my cock so they know it's cool. So if anybody out there knows Billy D. Williams, I'd like you to tell him to contact me. Our next story, trans women are suing the state of Montana after they passed laws that risk public safety. Apparently, the state of Montana banned them from going into women's restrooms and have hired gay dogs who failed at being drug dogs because they were too gay. These dogs can sniff out a cock from a mile away. If a trans walks into the women's restroom, the gay dog sniffs out the cock and bites it right off. I think it's too far, but they don't mess around out out there in Montana. How many trans people are in Montana? Four? There can't be, there's not that many people in Montana. Anyway, uh, Joe Biden signed a bill that threatens to ban TikTok within the next year. He unfortunately thinks TikTok is a slur for South Asian people. So he's going to be really pissed off in about a year from now when he's seeing, when he's, you know, still seeing Filipinos walking around. Hold up, I lost my place. Uh, Moving on, our next story. A man who served 17 years for a crime he didn't commit refused to accept the UK's apology. It's funny to think about him talking with his cellmate, telling him that he's innocent, and then his cellmate's like, yeah, man, I'm innocent too. I didn't do shit. And then the guy has to be like, oh, no, 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 no. I really didn't do anything. You are clearly a guilty man. You've got tattoos all over your face, and you're a freak. I am literally completely innocent. And the guy's like, what you mean by that? And he's like, "What? well, I mean, it's just that, like, really and truly, I know that you have to say that, that you're innocent or whatever, uh, but, 
Like, I really am just a guy. Anyway, that would be the absolute worst. Like, holy crap. If you get sentenced to any... Pr Although, if it's like two years of prison, because I think you get like a... A set, I think some people get like decent settlements where it's like you get like, you know, millions of dollars. Put me in jail for two years. If I get, you know, five million dollars, that's like, you know, having a, a league minimum contract in the NBA. All I got to do is keep my, my butthole clean. I got to make sure that my, well, you know what I mean. Keep dicks out of my butthole. I say, I have to tell everybody, get the hell away from my butt, mister. Just for two years, I have to tell misters to get away, stay away from my butt. And then I get $5 million. And then everybody says, oh, oh, oh my goodness, how sad. And then I can also act a fool. And everybody will be like, well, he got wrongly convicted. And he spent two years in prison. He shouldn't have even had to. Let him get away with it. Honestly, pretty cool. It's really scary for two years because it's not like you would know that you were going to get out and you would be having to tell people to stay away from your butthole. But you get the point. Anyway, a theory suggests that John Cena's Oscar performance was a satanic ritual. John Cena denies it being a satanic ritual, stating he's just queer, retarded, and untalented, not satanic. I wonder if after John Cena sold his soul to China, you know, and then he wanted to go back on it, and they were like, look, John, it's written here in plain gibberish. It's written right here in plain, plain as day in gibberish. That you can't, you know, you can't do anything that's not gay. Moving on, Flo Rida revealed he got a bunch of tattoos all within one year. Flo Rida is the black version of Nickelback. You know? It's just the black version. Eh, moving on. Uh, the CDC says deadly bacteria are spreading in tap water. It's nice knowing that all the people drinking water are going to die and the toothless people that only drink Diet Dr. Pepper will be the last living survivors of our species. I think that's nice. Uh, GOP candidate uh, Tim Sheely says he accidentally shot himself while at a national park. The Clintons responded, no, 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 no. The way this goes is we shoot you, then we say you accidentally shot yourself. We love your ambition, but you're going about it all wrong. You know, he just he just jumped the gun a little bit. He was like, "Oh, this is how this is how you get in good." Moving on, Wendy's is giving away free French fries every Friday, unless you're a homeless, smelly bum, in which case, get the hell out of the store. You're freaking everyone out. We're all really worried you're going to touch us. I always wonder how that works with like free giveaways. Cause like obviously homeless people would just be like, fuck yeah, free shit. Let's go. It really levels the playing field when things are free, but you don't want homeless people. I'm sure it's like, you got to buy something and then they're like, Oh, sorry. I thought it was, you didn't have to pay for anything. NCIS actor Nolan Freeman has been arrested for participating in the Jan 6 riots. He claims he was method acting for a role that requires him to be a badass that just wants to do what's right for the country. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. That's just a little joke. That's just a little jokey joke. A little jokey joke. A 29-year-old Saudi Arabian uh, feminist has been sentenced to 11 years in prison for provocative things she posted to social media. She said, actually, she's cool with being sentenced because the years from 29 to 40 are the worst years for feminists. The only thing she planned for the next, she had planned for the next 11 years was to get a bunch of abortions, cut her hair really short and ugly, post an ambiguous message on social media that makes people think she might be gay, then cry about not being able to bear children because she's old and barren. So, you know, 
doing that, going to prison, it kind of is kind of a wash at that point. A homeless woman was giving a housing voucher to live in an apartment building. Unfortunately, she has been reported by her neighbors for unseemly behavior, including threatening staff, undressing in the lobby, rubbing her bare ass on people who tried to get her removed from the premises, among other things. Uh, some homeless people have just fallen on hard times and need a hand, but others have gone feral. I say we send them all to Alaska. There's so much fucking space up there. Look at a map. We send them up there, give them the tools they need to create a, a community, then watch it all unravel in 4K. If that reality TV show doesn't pay for what it costs to ship them up there tenfold, the world does not know good TV. I was watching that show House Hunters one time, and like, if you know House Hunters, you know that there's like kind of shoot off shows where it's like House Hunters International or House Hunters Tropical or House Hunters Millionaire. I thought they could do like a, a spinoff show where it's House Hunters Homeless People, and it's literally just homeless people hunting for shelter. You know, it's just like an insane old guy rummaging through trash looking for a cardboard box. You know, saying about how, you know, he, he knew President Obama at one point or whatever. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew Brock. I sucked his cock. I knew Barack. I sucked his cock. Oh, it rhymes. Yeah, here's, 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 here's a good one. Here's a good cardboard box. All right, that's the show. You know. So if there's any TV execs out there, I'd love to, I'd love to talk that one over. Spiders have reportedly been discovered on Mars. Some say we should leave them be. Others say we should spray the entire planet with radon. And others say we should breed generations of the biggest spiders, separating them from the others, and then give them unlimited food sources. Then give the biggest spiders even more food, thus allowing them to grow. And over time, we speed their evolution into a planet full of giant five-foot-tall spiders. So, you know, there's a couple different ways you can go with that. That would be sick. If we just, you know, if we made giant big ass spiders i think they're like microscopic microscopic right now microscopic what's that word <laughs> fuck i'm an idiot i'm a fucking idiot anyway uh japan and china are fighting over strategic islands in the uh, uh in the pacific coast you will be disappointed and shocked just as i am to find out these fights are not happening uh, with samurais, ninjas, and sumo guys, but uh, it's it's a lot of drones and precision aircraft. No samurais, ninjas. Are samurais and ninjas the same thing, or is one of them ja Japan and one of them China? Sumo, I think, might be both. That's just a fat guy. That's just a fat Asian. Critics are outraged after a transgender injured a girl in women's sports. The thing these hoes are overlooking is the nut tap. Because what are they going to do? Hit you back in your puss? Probably feels good. You know, the, the nut tap is very, very, very underrated. And I understand they don't get it because they're, they're ladies. But, you know, don't be afraid to, to punch, that, punch that back, you know? Stops them right in their tracks. Anyway, moving on. A Michigan school canceled its scheduled pronoun lesson after the teacher received threats, which is unfortunate because the teacher just wants to connect to children. She got herself checked out by a doctor because she wasn't having children. The doctor concluded that there was nothing wrong with her other than being way too ugly and annoying for anyone to fuck. So, anyway, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, here's a question. Could you start a podcast that was just week after week the ins and outs of hypothetically robbing a bank? Like you interview bank robbers and they say what worked and what didn't. The people who make the safes, you interview them, bank tellers, security guards. And you just say at the beginning of every single podcast, hey, this is not about robbing a bank. I'm just interested in ro bank robbing. I find it interesting. What, you're not allowed to find it interesting? 
but you just like lay out like the best way to, to rob banks. I guess that's more of a question to, I'm sure I've got tons of lawyers that listen to this. Uh, the four people that just subscribed to me on YouTube, they're probably at least a couple of them lawyers. A solar eclipse happened this month. I'd like to think at some point in like 10,000 BC, the beta male who stayed home in his hut all day and never went outside was the only one in the village that didn't go blind from staring at the eclipse. So he just had like the best life of all time becoming the ultimate alpha male because he was the only dude in the village that could see. I'd like to try uh, to look at the eclipse, but you know, then if you go blind, that's that. I mean, you can't go unblind. You know, that's what happened to Ray Charles. He was like six years old when he became blind. I don't remember how it happened, but yeah, he went blind at six years old. Anyway, uh, I think. Uh, the best way to measure how well you're doing in life is to picture people watching your life like a zoo exhibit and determining how sad that would be. Like if people, like, would you be like the elephant that has the, the little chain and the rope and he doesn't know that he can, he can rip the pipe out of the ground and run away. So he just runs around in a little circle all downtrodden. You know, that's kind of a nice measure of how, how good or bad you're doing. Or are you like a, a wild cheetah? Like, oh God, this one's a little scary. Anyway, a former nun says she left the church because of its toxic culture. Now she's in her 60s, busted and weird looking and has a man's haircut uh, so she can begin her life as a normal person. She decided to write an article about herself and how much uh, and about how much of a victim she is which doesn't sound toxic to me at all. You go, girl. No, that's not toxic. You kidding me? That's just normal. That's totally normal to write a whole article about how much of a victim you've been your whole life, even though you've just, you decided to make every de decision you made. Anyway, moving on. Black women are mad at Caitlin Clark for being white and popular. Right when you think the WNBA might become popular, you remember they're all women. You know, they're all women. Don't you remember? They're going to, you know, just let them, you know, claw and scratch at each other. Uh, the world's oldest conjoined twin, Lori and George, died at the age of 62. Their combined age, of course, being 124, and their combined weight being enough to get them on that show 600-pound life, with the Pakistani doctor coming in saying, you need to lose weight and also, you are two people. You should not be two people. You should be one person, uh, each of you. You should not be two people mushed together. This is not natural. I've only seen like clips of that show, but I think that's what he... I, may, I remember him sounding kind of like that. Ashley Judd exclaimed, This is unfair, after Harvey Weinstein's case got overturned. Ashley Judd is the name of a woman that you don't even have to look up to know she's at least a little overweight. That is crazy, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein is just a, a rapist, and he's, you know, living his life. I feel like at that point, just send him to, like, like at least send him to a rich person's prison, you know? Like, we all know that the game's rigged for people like that, but... At least send him, just send him away, get him out of the public eye. That's so crazy. Anyway, uh, you think if we convinced all the Furbies that they were being given a free cruise than an iceberg just so happened to hit them, we could take care of a problem once and for all? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. But uh, it is weird and it freaks me out. Moving on, the first interracial kiss was shown on TV 50 years ago. Who knew that kiss would begin the domino effect that would produce Steph Curry, the man who ruined basketball, and Drake and J. Cole, the pussies that ruined rap? If you think about it. If you think about it. Uh, they call uh, Zev Feldman the jazz detective. 
His job is to find old lost jazz mu music and bring it to light. He is happy the music blog decided to do an article on him because he wants to set one thing straight. And I quote, I get a normal average amount of pussy. A lot of people see the top hat and the smug grin I, uh, I constantly have on my face and think, this guy doesn't get any pussy. But I do. Not an extraordinary amount, but right in the middle average amount. A lot of people think because my job is bullshit and I shouldn't exist uh, and no one respects me and I that I don't get pussy and women find me repulsive, I happen to be very good friends with many women and I talk to women almost every week. When asked to stop talking about how much pussy he gets and talk about his work, he said, who gives a shit? I listen to jazz music all day. I should be homeless. Let's keep talking about pussy and how good it feels on my penis. Yeah, that's a that is literally a wild job. I could I couldn't believe it because jazz is a bullshit uh, genre to begin with. You know, it's it's totally bullshit and shouldn't shouldn't exist to begin with. Uh, but to be a guy that finds lost jazz, like jazz, any jazz that's lost, it's because it was worse than normal jazz. You know, but anyway, more power to you. A Stanford scientist concluded after decades of research that we as humans do not have free will. You're telling me the guy who decided to spend 30 years researching free will and got paid six figures to do so says we don't make our own decisions. Tell me you got molested as a kid without telling me you got molested as a kid. Good God. Of course we have free will. Like the the freest, most wildest life where you can just for 30 years just be like, yeah, 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 no, I'm really busy. I'm researching whether or not we have free will. Someone is like, hey, do you want to uh, go to a go to a meeting that we're so, all supposed to go to? No, 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 I'm I'm researching something. Free free will. I gotta I gotta make sure. You know. Just ridiculous. Uh, the dodo bird went extinct in the year 1609, but a startup company is attempting to bring them back to life. The process is quite simple. They use the feathers of a peacock, the body of a potbelly pig, and the brain of Kamala Harris. Boom! I really should get a soundboard for this. Little sound effects: cheering, applause, laughing, of course, and a little drum thing. A little. Drum rip. The, mil uh, the multi-billion dollar banana industry is under threat after major corporations are seeing losses every quarter. The company claims this has nothing to do with Curious George being the latest spokes spokesperson. Uh, and even to start the rumor that he's been eating billions of dollars worth of bananas and because of his content new lifestyle, he's now lost all of his curiosity and now he's getting into perverse monkey stuff, like jerking off to that vi video of the gorilla fucking fucking the frog. It's absolutely ridiculous, and shouldn't even and you shouldn't even say rumors like that. You know, you really shouldn't. Anyway, I mean, I just think it's ridiculous that people would start rumors like that about Curious George. He's a re well respected man. Quentin Tarantino is said to have scrapped the script for his final film, The Movie Critic, and has moved on to other projects. Tarantino said he, he liked the project, but he feel he didn't use the N-word enough for his liking. It's funny how like some uh, white people will say, be like, oh, I can, I'm allowed to say the N-word. I have an N-word pass. And then they'll be like, no, 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 I, I, I don't say the hard R. I just say soft A. And it's like, really, nobody says the hard R. You know, you don't really hear like you hear like Quentin Tarantino, John Lennon and Tyler, the creator saying the hard R. It's mostly just like artists, like, you know, people, people in the art field. Be funny to like tell like the racist that invented the N word. It's like, hey, by the way, in 200 years, 300 years or whatever it was, in 300 years, it's going to be only artists that use that word. He's like, no, 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 I can't be right. 
artist yeah yeah artist that's it they're going to use it in in protest of the actual word it's going to be you know it's going to have a lot of different meanings anyway uh disney is set to ban visitors who lie about disabilities technically anyone who goes to disney has an iq of a brain dead fish so they would be considered retarded if you skip to the front of the line because you're in a wheelchair, is Mickey Mouse allowed to slam your knees with a hammer to make sure you're not lying? If so, I want that job as Mickey. Planet Fitness has lost $400 million for a transgender controversy after a trans woman shaved her penis in the locker room. Imagining a planet full of hot, slim singles throwing weight around is nice. But a planet of hairy, sweaty women with big dicks is the type of nightmare that I would never pay $20 a month to endure. You kidding me? Pay for that shit? Uh, no thank you. Megan Fox signed a new deal with UTA. My guess is they want to make one of those commercials where it's about having a gross sexual disease, but there's a medicine that reduces the symptoms. But it also makes you look more like a crackhead, even than before. She looks fucking wild. Moving on, why did Americans stop speaking with a British accent? Well, my studies show the main difference between the mouth of an American and the mouth of an Englander is the large amount of cum British people have in their mouth at all times. That's probably why they... I don't know, Governor. You you try speaking normal with a big, with a large load of cum in your mouth. Good freaking luck. Our next story, pretty privilege, is a viral tw trend on social media. It's the idea of a woman having to look hot to in advance their careers, which is just untrue. Oprah's pussy probably has an ecosystem filled with dirt, fungus, and wildlife similar to the Amazon, and she's worth billions. Jeff Bezos' wife, bu 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 busted. Hillary Clinton, I tried to jack my penis to her one time just for the sake of a good challenge, and my penis retracted into my body, and I haven't seen it since. Michelle Obama has a cock, so that doesn't really count, but you get my point. Successful women. Ugly as hell. <clears throat> Our next story. Archaeologists have unearthed a 1,200-year-old old palace with hidden secret rooms. But not how you're thinking. I'm talking rooms that everyone was well aware of, just filled with notes and pieces of paper that got secrets on them. Secret rooms. Not secret rooms. Secret rooms. An African-American teen from New Orleans has solved a 2,000-year-old math problem. Uh, what was the problem? Well, if the problem was if you have two baby mamas and two kids with each baby mama, how many kids do you have? Turns out it was a trick question. The only way you're going to find out that for sure is if you go on Maury and dance outlandishly every time he says the kids aren't yours. I remember the first time I watched uh, like a compilation of... You Are Not the Father from Maury. And I remember it was probably like a 12-minute video or something like that. And like seven minutes in, and I have been just dying laughing, having the greatest time of my life. And then I realized how dark it was. And it's like wild. It just kind of hits you like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. These are grown men... And, you know, sometimes, I guess it's sometimes it's uh, the woman that's like, ha ha, you have to pay child support, bitch. But, it's you know, they're like dancing because they don't have to be a father to a kid. And the kids are like there on the other backstage. But, you know. Anyway, uh, the Houston police chief stepped down from his position this week after it was determined that he had suspended uh, 260,000 investigations. 
Well, he said he would not give an explanation. He did say that he had been busting nuts like crazy, and he'll miss the job because of how many nuts he's been busting on account of being the police chief. So anyway, he said he said his estimate on a nuts that he'd busted was around two hundred sixty thousand, which has nothing to do with the two hundred sixty thousand investigations that he'd suspended. That's insane. I don't even understand. I didn't even know there were that many crimes in a city. Holy shit. And lastly, our final story for the week. Brittany Griner says she has important advice for Caitlin Clark. If I had to guess, the advice has to do with not letting anyone cut you, you in line during lunch hour and how to make a homemade shank with a toothbrush. So Caitlin can probably ignore most of what she's hearing. Anyway, that's it. It's a bit of a, it's a shorter one than what I wanted to do, but you know, it's, 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 it's time, time flies when you're having so much fun. Subscribe to all my shit. Look for Rampant News wherever you get your podcast. And if you're listening on the podcast uh, thing, you know, from, from a podcast site, uh, check out my YouTube channel. I cut a lot of these jokes up too. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing other, some other stuff as well. So thank you.